Hi, my name is Tony Brown. I'm a personal trainer and I offer cardio and strength building programs as well as nutrition plans tailored for you. Let me help you make health and fitness a lifestyle. Email me at alphabodies925 at gmail.com for more details. Visit my website at alphabodies925.com. Follow me on Instagram at alphabodies925. The first 25 emails will either get my cardio program or strength building program for free. Nutrition plan not included. Don't wait to get in shape. Start now. Game Kings, the definition of game. Documentary, coming soon. So I was having this uh, back and forth on my Facebook because I put up a, a status where I was talking about how, you know, beta males, they want to own pussy because they have the scarcity mindset, right? And I said alpha males share pussy because they understand that pussy belongs to the community and that they have the abundance mindset, right? Now, what was funny is, and what I noticed is there's a lot of guys who still can't deal with the concept that they're sharing pussy. Like dudes just coming up with all these excuses. They're like, no, well, I'm not sharing any pussy. Now, again, look, I said, I said, look, unless you're unless you're fucking only virgins or you're celibate and you're not fucking anybody, like those are the only two ways that you're not sharing pussy. The only two ways. Right, so what, what do I mean by you sharing pussy? I mean, if you fuck a woman who has also fucked another man at any point, any time in her life, you just shared pussy. You understand, it's that simple. See, a lot of dudes, what happened is, is that they've, they try to come up with, like I, I saw somebody write something like, oh, but it's not sharing, it's like, you're just uh, waiting your turn. They said it's like waiting for a bus. They was like, if, <laughs> It's like if, if a bus comes and people get off the bus and I get on the bus, I'm not sharing the bus. I'm just waiting my turn. No, you're, you're sharing. You understand? Sharing means that you're taking a portion or a piece and you are interacting with others with it. So unless you are only on that bus, unless you're the only one on the bus, matter of fact, you're still sharing the bus with the driver. So unless you are the bus driver by yourself in the bus, you are sharing that bus. Same thing with vagina. If you are fucking a chick and she's fucking other dudes, you're sharing the vagina. Now, see, the reason why guys have such an issue with this is because of their ego. It's because they don't like the idea of, you know, women being sexual or a woman they like being sexual with somebody else. Now again, I understand if you're in a monogamous relationship and you don't want the, the girl you're with to be fucking any other guys while she's with you. I get it. I get that shit. Right? Well, <laughs> nevertheless, unless that girl is a virgin that you wifed up, you're still sharing pussy. Like this one dude on my on my um status, he said, oh, but. I'm not, I'm not sharing no chick uh, who just fucked some dude yesterday. I'm not gonna be fucking her the next day. I said, nigga, how you know? How do you know? Then he comes up with something talking about, oh, well, you could, like, she, she smells different. You can smell the, <laughs> the cum inside her or some shit. And I'm like, well, first of all, that's not true. And second of all, just because a, 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 a dude has sex with a woman doesn't mean that he comes inside her all the time you understand dude could be wearing a condom dude could pull out right so dudes come up with all these scenarios to make themselves feel better they they're like oh it's disgusting to uh to fuck a chick who's been fucking now this is the thing i literally think it would be disgusting if let's say for example you fuck a chick tonight at 10 o'clock. And before you fucked her at seven o'clock, she was at some other dude's house fucking him. And she was doing a whole bunch of shit. And she didn't take a shower. And she comes to see you. Now, that is disgusting. I think that's disgusting. 
right? See, even I'll say, for example, I talked about this before. Me and my wife have an open relationship. Even this, in that situation, my wife was with another dude, right? I don't even do anything sexual with her for at least 24 hours. And she has to, you know, brush her teeth, fucking take a shower, all this other stuff. But see, this is the interesting part about my situation and most other guys' situations. The thing with me and over relationship is, I know that the woman I'm about to have sex with had sex with another dude, <laughs> you know, previously. The problem with you guys is, and this is what fucks y'all up in the head, is that y'all don't know. Meaning any woman you meet could have just had sex. Or any woman you're having sex with could have just had sex with another guy right before you. Ask me how I know. I've been on plenty, I've been in plenty of situations where I'm hooking up with a chick and she goes on a date right after. And some of them tell me that they fucked the guy who they went on a date right after me. And what was funny was there was this one girl who I went over her house, hooked up with her, right? We was fucking and all that other shit, right? And <laughs> so she had she was going on a date after. And we took so long that she didn't have time to hop in the shower. You understand? So she didn't hop in the shower, right? And <laughs> she didn't hop in the shower. And then she went to go see the other guy. And they fucked. Now, when she told me that, I was like, listen, <laughs> your ass got a shower if I fuck with you. Like, I said, the next time if we, if we hook up again, your ass need to hop in the shower before I even touch your ass. See, in that aspect, I, can, I, get, I get it. I get it. It, it. It's disgusting. I know. Because it's, you know, all, all that shit, all the fluids and all that. Oh, man, this is it's probably the worst video ever I've ever done. <laughs> but I'm trying to get you guys to understand that you have to be realistic out here you have to be realistic i know you don't want to come to terms with the fact that you're sharing pussy but if you are fucking a chick and she's not a virgin you are sharing pussy period you understand period right so a lot of you guys like you know guys are like i was reading on the, some of the comments on my facebook they're like oh but you know i have standards so i don't mess with those type of girls and i i turn down all these girls and, you know, because they're all thoughts and, and sluts. And I don't want to mess with the highest quality of women who, are out, who aren't out here fucking and sucking. And I'm like, okay, sure you are. Sure you are. I believe you. I believe you. Your game is so tight that, you know, multiple women are just throwing the pussy at you. And you're just like, no, no, no. And you have this magical uh, body count detector that you know which girl is fucking and which girl's not. But see, these guys, these guys don't know. See, what happens is there's guys who don't have game who believe everything a woman says. And so they run into a woman who says, oh, I only slept with one guy in my life. And he's like, oh yeah, she's a good girl. I'm gonna fuck with her. Cause he's an idiot. He believes everything the woman says. This is why you got all these fools who believe the shit that Jada Pickett and Will Smith said on the Red Table Talk. They actually believe that these motherfuckers broke up and she fucked with somebody else while they was broken up. And that's what that's the arguing point. They don't realize that these motherfuckers is in an open relationship. They told the fucking public that they were just in a breakup to make it more palatable because these motherfuckers don't understand game and they can't take it. So it's the same reason why a chick who probably fucked 80 dudes is gonna tell you she fucked two dudes because your punk ass can't take it. You understand what I'm saying? So, look, a lot of y'all motherfuckers gotta understand that 
you are sharing pussy, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Just protect yourself, right? Tell these chicks to shower, brush their teeth, mouthwash, disinfectant, all that shit you need. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell them to do that shit, right? Because you're not going to be able to stop this shit. You're not. It just is what it is. So unless you plan on never fucking women again or at all, guess what? You're sharing. There's no way around this. Dudes is trying to say, oh, you know, this is, you know, this stuff you're talking about is weird and it sounds suspect because you're talking about dudes sharing women. I'm like, bro, I'm talking about this shit objectively. Y'all, y'all are the ones are who are in your feelings and in your ego with this shit. I'm talking about this shit objectively. When you fuck a woman who's not a virgin, you're sharing pussy. Period. This is real simple to understand. But see, dudes understand it, but they don't want it to come to terms with it. That's the issue. You understand? That's the issue. Because it's interesting to me that so many dudes, for some reason, they, they want to live in uh, illusion. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. It's usually the women who want to be living an illusion. That's why women listen to a bunch of bullshit advice, you know, and people telling women, oh girl, he's intimidated by you. You know, he just don't understand a good woman, all that other dumb shit. You guys want to hear lies too. This is what I'm starting to see. So maybe I should start doing that. I'm going to start telling y'all motherfuckers the lies. Be like, guys, listen, a woman's a thought if she had sex with more than one guy, and she can't pair bond and uh what else and she's you know damaged in her brain if she has sex this is what y'all want to hear right y'all want to hear this fuck it what else you want to hear i mean it's sad bro sad click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now before you go click the link below and go to badboymembership.com now badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month listen i know you're tired of being rejected go to badboymembership.com I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women wanna be with, women wanna date, women wanna have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.